All right, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a couple of quick stealth tactics, especially if you're doing product research and you kinda of wanna know what the competition uh, are using in terms of their keywords, and also um, how to go about finding pretty much easily suppliers using some of the software that we use uh, for our students, all right? So stay with me, we'll be back in a second. The number one factor for success on Amazon comes down to your product. That, that's essentially it. It comes down to your product. If you don't have an awesome product, it's not gonna sell. No matter how good your marketing is, it's just not gonna sell. So most people go down the shotgun, the shotgun strategy, which is they have a shotgun, they try like 20 different products and fingers crossed, hope that it works, right? But that's no way to build a successful Amazon business, right? So you need to make sure that the product that you're selling is gonna be a killer, it's gonna be a winning product, that's how you make money on Amazon. Welcome back guys, it's good to have you here. So, today's video I'm gonna show you, we're gonna use an example I've used before, which is the baby gate, right? So awesome, pretty pretty awesome baby gate, right? It's actually doing some pretty good numbers last time I checked. Let's just run the, run the numbers again on this particular product. So, uh, let's have a look. So they've got their act together, right? So it's doing 62,000 in revenue a month, right? Listing quality score is eight, right? 625 sales a month, 1,400 reviews, right? 22 pounds, it does weigh a bit, right? Let's say, for example, I was interested in this particular product. Let's say purely example, right? And I wanted to know, all right, what keywords is Todd LaRue um, actually using, right? What keywords are they using on their listing? How are people potentially finding them? And uh, how do I go about quickly finding supplies for a product like this, all right? So let's just go through. First of all, we need the ASIN number, all right? So what I do is I do a bit of a search right here. I go to ASIN. I don't know whether you guys can sort of see that. No, you can't, that's all right. All right, so I'm gonna do a bit of a search. You can, oh, let me just show you actually where you can find the ASIN, right? So you scroll right down to the bottom of the page. Let's just have, oh, whoops, Lucy. Let me just zoom back in, okay. I'm losing control, okay. I like to stay in control, here we go, all right. Down here, if you scroll right down the bottom, you'll find usually the ASIN number, all right? This is the special magical number that you need, all right? So make a note of this particular number. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna copy that particular number. And I'm gonna go into one of the tools that we use, which is the niche tools under reverse ASIN research, right? And I'm gonna give that a click. And basically, let's just go in there now actually. And let me just sort of show you this right from scratch. So I'm gonna paste the code in there and I'm gonna click go. And what it's gonna do is gonna, it's gonna try and, and use that data from this particular product and it's gonna hit me up with some uh, keywords, right? So I'm, as you can sort of see down here, it's given me keywords, right? Of what this listing right here how people are potentially finding it and also keywords that they've potentially used in the listing, right? In the back end keywords. So you got here, baby fence door, baby fence fireplace, baby fence for Christmas tree, baby fence for stairs, baby fence freestanding, baby fence indoor. So this could be potentially how people are finding this particular product, all right, on Amazon. So this will really help when you're writing your listing to use these keywords when you're building a listing as well as in the actual listing, all right? So it'll give you some really good examples. And also, if you wanna do advertising later on, you can also use these keywords as well. But uh, let's just go through here. Now, let's say for example, I was interested in what I'm looking at, all right? So I'm looking at a few things, right? So baby gate dog. Let me just show you two little cool tricks, right? So there's something called the, you see this little mountain top right here? This is the Google Trends, right? I'm just gonna hover over, right? I'm just, just gonna hover over this. And what it's gonna tell me is it's gonna show me the trends over the last five years for this keyword. So is this keyword being typed into Google? All right, that's what it's basically telling me. And it's telling me here it's been pretty consistent and it looks like it's going up. Let's type in baby gate dog uh, door, all right? Okay, keywords, uh, as you sort of see, it's dropping a little bit there as well, right? Baby gate door. Uh, wow, okay, that's going up and up and up. And the advantage of doing this is if, uh, you know, this, this is one way of actually finding out whether or the product or not is seasonal. If you're looking at Christmas tree lights, you're gonna see a big 
spike up during October, November, and December, and then monthly it's suddenly a massive drop. Okay, uh, but you can sort of see here throughout the year it's pretty consistent, all right? One thing I do like also is this little button here. And at a, at a click of a button, it will take you to Alibaba, right? And it will run a search on this particular keyword, right? So for example, baby gate door. I'll click this button and what it's gonna do is gonna take me to Alibaba and it's gonna load up listings pretty much immediately. Baby gate door, baby gate doors, right? Baby gate doors. And it enables me to find a supplier pretty fast and, uh, and basically for this particular supplier, all right? So um, yeah, so hopefully that sort of made sense, guys. Some little tricks for the trade there. I hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, yeah, talk to you real soon. And also, if you're looking to get some guidance and you're looking for help and you want help with finding products, doing the research, finding suppliers, and also getting help listing the product on Amazon, maybe me showing you how to do it. Plus, I could even do it for you. If that's you, give us a call in the office. I would love to work with you. I would love to meet you at some of our live events that we run. And uh, yeah, talk to you real soon. Bye-bye for now. See you later. Have a fantastic day. See you later.